Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger, my friends. It's Tekken trailer time again. Jeez, it feels like it was just yesterday when we had our last Tekken trailer and, uh, oh, it was yesterday. Okay, so yeah, the Tekken trailers are coming in at a incredible pace, to say the least. Yesterday was the June trailer and today we have Ling. And naturally, we'll break down the Ling trailer in full, and she's got some interesting new tricks. But one thing to say before that is there's been a lot of Tekken news coming out today. A bunch of people, not myself, but a bunch of people got an early look at Tekken 8 and talking about the game mechanics, and we've learned quite a few interesting things. Like, say, the heat mechanic, which we all know, turns out that's going to be a lot more common than you think, as the heat bar refreshes to full after every single round for both players. So you are heavily incentivized every single round to use the heat mechanic, and that's definitely going to inform how this game is played. It's definitely not some side thing. The heat mechanic is Tekken 8. Other things, like there's apparently no more running tackles, which as a Tekken scrub myself, I love running tackles, so I'm going to miss those. Things like Magic 4 changing, which we'll see in this trailer, so we'll cover that when it happens. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting things. Just check all over the internet. There's a lot of Tekken 8 stuff happening today. So that said, now let's rewind back to the start and let's give you a full Ling trailer breakdown. So starting off, we have the chains as we've grown accustomed to and the title Ling is the Dancing Phoenix. And considering her claim to fame is the Art of Phoenix Dance, fair enough. Also Ling's basic look here. I gotta say the orange and black, I think is really, really sharp. I definitely dig the look of Ling in this game. In our opening bit of gameplay, we already got a fair bit to unpack here, a fair bit of new stuff on multiple levels, that right there, not the least of which. So let's talk about it. So out of the gate here, when Ling blocks uh, Nina's move, it looks like her hand's glowing, and my understanding is that right there is actually Heat Engager, and if it gets blocked, it doesn't go off. Now for Ling, as a quick punish here, we see stand one down two, and instead of staying in back turn stance, she actually cancels out and instead goes into her sidewalking hypnotist stance into an all new move from hypnotist stance. So the sweep here, and we can see with the blue claw effect, it's a tracking sweep, hits both sides, can't step it. So yeah, this is all new from this stance and you're gonna see it used to greater effect later in the trailer. So Nina does attempt to step it, which won't work. Ling is at plus frames and Nina tries to hit a button and gets smoked in the face by standing four. Now here's the thing, standing four, otherwise known as the magic four, Traditionally on counter hit, which this definitely is a counter hit, would just straight up fully launch the enemy and then you can get whatever combo you please. In Tekken 8, that is no longer the case. Standing fours for the characters that have the counter hit launch property, eh -eh. now it just forces the enemy to stumble down. Now there's still a guaranteed follow up here, as you can see. When Nina is tumbling backwards from the counter hit, uh, Ling goes for a backflip into Art of Phoenix stance cancel. So there's still something here, but no longer just Proper launch, hit, hit, combo across the stage, tailspin, in the wall combo, in the whatever. So the usefulness of the Magic 4 series is curtailed quite a bit here. Still useful, for sure, because that still was guaranteed damage, but not as strong as it used to be. Also to note, stage-wise, this is a daytime version of the stage we've seen before, and Panda is in the background. I don't know if it's our Panda, but a Panda is in the background watching Ling, making sure everything's going okay. Next up here, fun piece of business. So we see Ling go for down back two, leaves her in back turn state, and then goes for the hop grab from down back two. And this is a bit different here because after the hit, uh, it looks like Nina's still falling down and Ling gets some guaranteed damage. So for comparison's sake here in Tekken 7 here, when you're back turn, you do the hop grab and you'll sure smack the enemy, but that's it. They're already knocked down. It's just a regular knockdown, nothing fancy. So side by side, the start's effectively the same, but yes, the animations are different. And here, Ling, after the bop, gets to scoop the enemy with down 3-4. So either this just replaced the old move, or maybe it's a secondary throw she gets from the back turn stance. Who knows for sure, but it's a strong addition to the arsenal. Being able to combo after the throw will always lead to beneficial stuff for you. Especially if you can manage, like, say, a wall splat after down 3-4 and they hit the wall, something like that. Next up here, we get a nice little combo example off a launcher. And we also get to see a new string off of it as well. So Ling blocks a move, launches with down forward 2-1, hits down forward 1 to rejuggle and put herself in back turn stance, and hits back turn 1 into whatever this is. 
So basically new string. All new game, you would expect characters to pick up a few new tricks and this is definitely one of them. So this launches and also puts the enemy in the tailspin state. She hits four, two, one, and then hypnotist stance two to close out the combo. Now, moving on to our next sequence, this is a parry sequence, and we also get a hint of another new move. So, Ling parries the string from Nina and switches sides, and Nina's now against the wall. Hypnotist stance four, counter hit, which splats. And then this guy, so this is back four, and I'm assuming back four one, something like that. So, basically just another new string option. So, back four, before you could do like back four four, but that was it. So, now you have a punch option off back four. And this is another move that also play in later in the trailer. As when that punch is winding up, you can see the heat following from it, right? As we discussed earlier with Nina, because this is actually an engager move. So it's not used so much in that case in the combo, but when the hands glow, you can tell that move has otherwise special properties. It's a good visual tell to let you know which moves are important. Here, some posing around, and once again, the black and orange I think is just really sharp. It just looks really good on Link. I'm a fan of the new outfit. And now here we have another extended combo sequence using heat and just showing some of uh, the trickier concepts of Ling. So starting off here, Ling does back three. One, since King's glowing orange when he blocks, I guess that means it does chip damage. Two, this move always leaves her in her back turn stance. King swings in, unfortunately for him, Ling goes for back turn down four, and it basically low profiles any high move, and since it hits as a counter hit, it gives a nice fancy launch. From here, we go into a heat burst to rebound the enemy and keep the combo going. Down four two, four two one, and then forward one plus two to knock him out. Our next sequence here, King's charging at Ling and she bops him with down one. At least I think it's down one because it goes right now to Phoenix. Uh, this might be one of the many, many moves that have been reanimated over the course of Tekken 8. Wait and see, I guess. Uh, the one thing here I do like, King, it's been shown in his trailers that his run has a lot of very strong options. However, unless he's in heat mode, the run is not armored, so all you have to do to stop him is just hit him out of it. From there, Art of Phoenix 2-1 is a heat engager and sends King flying and Ling running right after him. So from here, now in heat mode, up 4, 3, plus 4, shooting star, except we got a bit of a follow-up. This is the heat smash and just a big old wheel kick in the king's face. It's good, but considering the recent trailers of like Jack 8 and June, where they're shooting rockets and like magic and stuff with their heat smashes, it's not as impressive. The bar has been raised now in Tekken 8, and we need lasers, rail guns, holy smites, and magic to compete now these days, it seems. Now, next sequence, coming back to what we talked about earlier in the trailer, we see that new string with back four. So back four, and the hand glows, as we talked about earlier, and that is a heat engager. Ling follows up here from the engager, 4-2-1, going into the hypnotist stance, and again, mentioned it earlier in the video, but that new low from hypnotist stance. So here, King tries to sidestep out of the way, gets bopped, and gets knocked down this time. When we saw it earlier in the trailer, it did not knock down. It just did a regular old hit in the exact same circumstance. The key difference here is Ling is in the heat mode. And as we know, the heat mode gives moves new properties. So in this particular thing, the sweep from the hypnotist stance will knock down now instead of just regular hit and leaving the enemy standing. And now knocked down, Ling follows up with the slide 4-3 crescent kick and hits King in the back. Heat mode gives some pretty handy bonuses, not the least of which is the heat dash. Ling, here already in heat mode, down back one palm, goes into heat dash, and then we get a quick juggle follow-up. Back turn stance, 2-1, back flip into Art of Phoenix stance, and then Art of Phoenix 2-1 as well to end the combo. And then, hey, this is how every trailer ends. Big slow-mo counter hit, time for the rage art. And Ling, you know, as we talked about a moment ago, not so much to rail guns, lasers, and holy magic smites, but she's a pretty good martial artist, right? And she's literally just clowning on King in every possible direction, just smacking him everywhere, following with one giant final strike. Sometimes the old ways are best. And ending it off here with the wind pose, Ling is still the happy-go-lucky girl she always was, and I'm sure she's still going to be chasing after Jin like a lost puppy. Because other than managing Panda's nonsense, what else does she got, really? <laughs> But yeah, so another interesting Tekken trailer, maybe not as powerful as the Jun trailer, because, you know, people have been waiting for Jun for a very, very long time. Ling is a pretty safe bet she was going to show up. But still, 
uh, showing off, you know, the systems yet again, some of the changes like the Magic 4 change, and you know, showing up with some new strings, some new toys she never had before, still impressive in the end. So now that we know uh, Ling is here, Ling is also the last playable character in the current alpha build they have for Tekken 8. So expect to see a lot of footage of that in the upcoming weeks, especially from EVO Japan. We might pause on the character trailers for a bit, maybe, I don't know, I'm assuming anyways, but whenever they come back, maybe next week, we have to assume who else is showing up. So we have our core roster now, but who else? You have to assume some all new characters, cause that's how that works. And I feel like other fan favorites like Brian, like Brian Fury is not going anywhere. He'll be in Tekken 8. But the rest of the roster is sort of up in the air. Like, I don't think like Katarina or Gygus is going to show up again. That said, though, I would love to know your thoughts about where we go now from Tekken 8 from here. So post that in the comments below. And otherwise, well, we're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some Tekken.